Okay, Pavan, let's proceed ahead with your technical snap for thermodynamics. Yes, you are a student of finally of uh, G Polar Reddy College, right? Engineering yes, College. Yes, 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 Wonderful. Sir. So you have which subject you have prepared today? Sir. Thermodynamics, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Thermodynamics. You know, there's a term called thermodynamic property. Yes, sir. Are you aware what is that term? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you define that term? Sir, thermodynamic property which deals with the all the pressures, temper, uh, temperature, volumes, entropy, enthalpy, internal energy, all includes the thermodynamic properties. No, but how do you define that? Thermodynamic property is defined as uh, it, it, uh, it is the property where uh, the temperature in a uh, temperature syndicates at certain points. Okay, there is something which is called thermodynamic state, thermodynamic yes, process, thermodynamic cycle. Are you aware about that? Yes, sir. Can you tell me what is thermodynamic state, thermodynamic process, thermodynamic cycle? Sir, thermodynamic cycle which completes the initial stage, uh, initial, uh, some, pra, some state process. Okay. It starts with in, uh, one state and come back to, to uh, come back to return to first initial state. It's called thermodynamic cycle, sir. Okay. Thermodynamic process is a process which takes from one, pro, one state to another state. Mm -hmm. And states indicates, uh, state indicates a particular point. Mm -hmm. These are the three. Mm. What is the significance of a thermodynamic state? Sir, it indicates certain par par particular specific points, sir. The, it indicates uh, particular in, uh, at particular uh, point, it indicates the, its uh, uh, properties, like properties. Mm. Okay. Okay, now I have made something on the board. Yes, sir. Which cycle is this? Sir, it's the Carnot cycle. It's so clockwise or counterclockwise? Clockwise, sir. Hmm. And what is this area giving you? Sir, it's a uh, heat, heat transfer, sir. Heat addition or heat rejected? Heat addition, sir. Okay. And what is this area? Heat rejection. Hmm. Heat addition. What is heat addition minus heat rejection? Uh, heat uh, work output, sir. So, can you show work output in this diagram? No, uh, no, sir. It's there. It's shown on PV diagram. Mm. Okay. So, can you tell me what is thermodynamic uh, first law of thermodynamics for a cycle? Sir, first law of thermodynamic cycle is cyclic cyclic integral of d d uh, d q is equal to cyclic integral of d w. What is the meaning of that? Cyclic integral of DQ uh, D, uh, D means total, uh, total energy uh, heat transfer is equal to total work transfer. Total or net? Net, net heat transfer is equal to uh, net work transfer. But I was asking you that what is this cycle giving you? This is net heat transfer, right? Okay, yes sir, net heat transfer. Can't I so, say this is net work also? No sir. But just now you said it is net work is equal to net heat? It's for uh, cycle sir. Ah, so this is a cycle only, right? You can't you see yes, this sir. cycle? Let us say one, two, three, four. Is it not a cycle? Yes, sir. It's cycle, but you show on the PV diagram, sir. Work transfer. No, is... but whether it is a PV or it is TS, so the cycle area remains same, right? Okay. I'm asking you, cycle yes, area yes, remains cycle. same or not? Yes, same, sir. Mm, okay. So can you name any other thermodynamic cycles? Name of some thermodynamic cycles. Other than Carnot cycle, auto cycle, <laughs> diesel cycle, dual cycle. Mm. Which engine is based upon auto cycle? Auto cycle, petrol engine, sir. And which engine based upon diesel cycle? Diesel engine, sir. Mm. And which engine based upon Carnot cycle? Carnot cycle is based on uh, ideal cycle, sir. No, auto and diesel are also ideal cycles. Mostly petrol cycles are in petrol, uh, petrol engines are based on Carnot cycle. Petrol engines are based on Carnot cycle, huh? Most of okay. the cases. Can you tell me how you calculate the efficiency of Carnot cycle? Sir, Carnot cycle efficiency is uh, 1 minus T2 by T1, sir, actually. That means uh, higher temperature minus inch, uh, lower temperature by higher temperature. Mm. Okay, what, what are the methods to increase the efficiency of Carnot cycle? Increasing the uh, um, at, uh, initial temperature, highest temperature, sir. 
increasing the temperature at which heat is added right uh, yes sir it is added and what is another way no idea you know you said efficiency is equal to 1 minus t yes. minimum over t maximum right yes sir so one way is like you increase t max yes sir another is you reduce t minimum yes sir this if this factor is reduced yes sir that start is increasing yes sir yes sir now, if i ask you pavan yes sir that i have two options either okay. i can decrease t minimum or i can increase t maximum okay sir. let us say either you can decrease t minimum by 5 degree centigrade Okay, sir. Or you can increase T max by 5 degrees centigrade. Which one shall you prefer? Increasing 5 degrees. Uh, in decreasing 5 degrees is in, I prefer, sir. Decreasing minimum temperature, you yes, prefer sir. that. Why? Yes, sir. Why? Sir, increasing, uh, increasing the temperature causes damage to the engine. Maybe damage to the engine, sir. But mathematically, will you get more yeah, mathematically, efficiency? Mathematically, we will get more efficiency, sir. If you decrease T minimum. Yes, sir. Are you sure about that? Yes, sir. Sure. What if I make this cycle anti-clockwise? It become irreversible, sir. Irreversible? Yes. Or will it become reverse Carnot cycle, which can be reference cycle for heat pump? Reverse Carnot cycle, sir. Do you use reverse Carnot cycle? Have you heard about reverse Carnot cycle? Yes, sir. Reverse Carnot cycles are... Okay, let me ask you, Pavan, something about perpetual motion machine of yes, first sir. and second type. Okay, sir. Can you define these two terms? Yes, sir. Perfect, uh, for, perfect motion machines of machine, sir, first and deals with the first law of thermodynamics, sir. Which violates the first law of thermodynamics. Mm -hmm. Where P, uh, P, uh, we shortly call it as PMM1. Mm -hmm. Okay, PMM1 states that no engine, uh, engine uh, continuously work without taking input, sir. PM2 deals with it is impossible to construct 100% efficiency engine. Mm. Which violates the second law of thermodynamics. Which statement of second law does it violate? Sir, it's the uh, Kelvin Planck statement, sir. Mm. Kelvin Planck statement, right? Yes, sir. Mm. What is another statement? Classia statement. No, that no, no, temper, the temperature from lower temperature to higher temperature. Cannot transfer without any of any external energy, external source. Pavan, can you tell me what is, uh, in your opinion, uh, what do you understand by quality of energy? Sir, quality of energy means, uh, no, sir, I no idea. About. Can you tell me what is universe? Yes, sir. Surrounding plus, uh, surrounding system plus surrounding both are include uh, called universe. Mm. What is the size of universe? It's in can't uh, can't predictable sorry very large yes sir it's very large so if i give you a cup of tea okay sir hot tea is there inside this and i keep okay. it in the room okay sir tell me what is system what is surrounding and what is universe sir system is cup sir okay cup with uh, matter which is inside the cup understood is, uh, and surrounding is the outside uh, room room temperature sir okay the universe means total room Include cup, but, then my, but my room is not very large. My room is a small. For for and the for, for giving the, this case, I assume that the room is in a universe, and system uh, system is cup and mat uh, which in, uh, which involves matter, and atmospheric around the uh, cup is uh, surrounding. That means universe is not very large size, right? Yes, sir. For, so so you uh, were saying universe is very large. In this case, yes. it is not very large. Depending upon the cases, it's. Uh, Okay, Paman, can you give me some example of adiabatic process? Adiabatic. Uh, Transferring um, what, uh, no, water to the nozzles and boilers. Can you, can you give me an example of some adiabatic system at home? Sir, our uh, freeze. Freeze, right? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, how, how it is made adiabatic? By uh, providing thermocoles. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now let me give you the feedback, Pavan. Pavan, okay, I sir. must say that you have prepared. You your level is good. You have prepared okay. a couple of things here, but still a lot of things are to be prepared. So 
keep watching that marathon videos which i have sent you and okay, keep sir. revising that listen to thermal lines two three times okay sir like you know he start asking you what do you understand by thermodynamic uh, state your thermodynamic properties thermodynamic properties are those properties which you measure to define the system okay so sir. if you want to define the room room is a system you will tell me this is the volume of the room this is the temperature in the room this is the pressure in the room this is how you define the system so okay. thermodynamic properties are used to define the system okay. it can be intensive it can be extensive like okay. temperature pressure are intensive volume is extensive then comes the thermodynamic state thermodynamic process thermodynamic cycle okay on any property diagram let us say pv diagram or ts diagram state 1 2 3 4 they are thermodynamic state then 1 to 2 okay. is a process 2 to 3 is a process 3 to 4 is a process then 1 to 3 4 is a cycle okay so significance of thermodynamic state is it helps you to calculate thermodynamic properties at okay. particular point and okay. that defines further the system so like okay. if you want to define state 1 you can calculate temperature and entropy at state 1 okay significance of process is the moment you go from 1 to 2 then energy okay. transformations can be calculated Like heat and work and all, you can calculate that, right? Okay. Sir. Now TS diagram or PV diagram, the area of a cycle on TS diagram or PV diagram represents heat and work transfer. Net heat or net work because both are okay. same for a cycle. Okay, both sir. are same. That is okay. what I was trying to confuse you. Like, what is this shaded area? So this is the net work or net heat? Net work. Area, sir, net heat projected and heat addition is total. This up to this total. Okay. Okay. Area under two to three. Total area under two to three is the heat addition Q one. Okay. Area under four to one is Q two. Okay. And Q one minus Q two is a W. Okay. So I must say that uh, final year student you are, your level is good, not a problem. But you, you know, revise that marathon again. Okay. So sometimes uh, again because the more more you you know revise, more your level will increase. Okay, sir. and we are uh, dumping all your these videos on you know your PDF the GDGT uh, YouTube channel. There's so okay. many other uh, such uh, things are available, right? Okay, uh, technical snaps. Listen to that also. The kind okay, of question sir. which I'm asking you, I'm asking similar question to other students also, right? Okay, sir. okay, Pawan. Thank you, sir.